Hey, 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 everyone. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised Lucky isn't already over here. <laughs> I know, my sweet Lucky. Well, I hope I made it over here with all of my yarn and everything. I've got yarn everywhere. It's, it's a yarny kind of day. It is happening. Hey, sweet Heather. How are you? Oh, my goodness. I am. I am working on this. Oh, my goodness. I decided to go around this border again. Hi, everybody. Squirrel Raid, welcome. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Welcome to my house. Crochet by Sass. <laughs> I watched you all night, girlfriend. I did. I did. I am putting a double border on this baby afghan. It looks really awkward, but that's, that's what's happening right now. I don't know what's going to look like when it gets in the wash, but look at the border. Heather, I'm excited about that poncho, but I'm totally uh, crazy over this double border happening right now. So I'm hoping... Hope I have enough of this pink stuff to do it. I just uh, went scrounging through my uh, Scraptastic pink collection and threw it in here. This did not come. It's not the same color pink, but I don't think it's going to really matter because of all of the different shades of pink happening right here. So... <laughs> I have no idea how well it will turn out, but it was, it's going to get a, it's going to get a um, wash shortly and we'll see what happens when we get it done. Thank you. Hey, 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 Miss Sweet Mimi Cat Do. Sweet Tea is in the house. Thank you for hopping in. I was just talking about this border that I am doing. I'm making a double border on my afghan. I just love how it turned out and I just wanted to throw in some pink into it to bring it all together and I'm doing it. Hi Kelly, how are you sweet niece? You know, you know how it is. Dana and Joe, we're family, so that puts you in the family too. <laughs> Welcome all you squirrely squirrelies coming over here. It's good to see you. So good to see you. Yes, meet and greet everyone. I'm mean, just telling you, uh, get right in there. And uh, you see that border? Look at it. I am... I am like ecstatic over how it's turning out. It's it's going to be looking like you when you lay the blanket down, you're going to have a border on each side. So the mama was like, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> My, yeah, I am your on day. That's it. Hey, you all. I am working on this border. I'm trying to get you guys as close as I can so you can see this gorgeous uh, border and how it's turning out. That's the gray side. I already did it. The gray side is completely done and I just started the pink side. So whichever way they lay the blanket down, each side is going to have a border on it. This is the reverse shell stitch. And I'm just loving it, loving it, loving it. 
So I, I'm really, um, I'm winging it, y'all, because I've never done this before. But I like how it's turning out. And I'm, I might, my neighbor is like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? The big sister of the new, new baby is like, is it done yet? Is it done? So um, I'm thinking about if I have any pink and gray left from doing my border. I'm thinking about making big sister a poncho out of the gray and the pink just so the new baby isn't getting all of the gifts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yes, guys. Don't forget the, th the thummies. Yeah, so I am really pumped about this um, border happening right here. See what is going on with it. And I'm tickled at how it's turning out because I've never added a double border before. So we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen here. So I'm really um, I'm really pumped about it. Um, I wish I could set up my camera to, um, do a picture. Yes, it is, sweet tea. It's a corner to corner baby afghan. And I used, um, Bernat, no. something pop. What's pop? Hang on, sis. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how, well, you know what? I totally, I use three of the Bernat pop. Is that what it's called? I don't know where my little thingy is, but how many rows before I decreased? Um, Thirty-two. Today I have no headache, Matthew. Isn't that wonderful? Welcome, Matthew. It's so good to see you. I'm using a very cute Furls crochet hook. <laughs> a pink Odyssey, to be exact. It was a gift from a friend. Um, so far, no headache, but I do have a bun up and, uh, you know, it could get pretty, it, it's pretty tight keeping all that hair up out of my face after my shower. So I'm hoping that the headache stays completely away. completely out of here so I had a good brunch <clears throat> I had a good old cheeseburger for lunch brunch breakfast lunch about one o'clock so I'm good sometimes you know when you forget to eat stuff happens oh granny d look at this I am putting, it's got a double border on it. Look at the border happening right up now. So each side of this afghan, whatever which way that the mama lays it on the bed or crib or 
floor for tummy time. Each side is going to have a border on it. One side is pink. One side is gray. I know when you're so busy, hey, you know, we forget. We totally forget about food. <laughs> um, mornings, I, I normally can't do food. I just bypass the morning food fat. Um, and then I get so busy during the day that I forget that, oops, mm, food might be important. But I have my backup. What's in your cup today, guys? You know me. Mm. My brewed coffee that is chilled with Italian sweet cream. Exactly. Mm. That's what I'm having right there. Oh, this is for dinner. <laughs> How many of you have ever had these very uh, addictive potato chips? Literally. Matthew, hot coffee. Hot coffee does me that way. So, yeah, like like Joe said, it 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 makes me dookie. So I I try not to do the hot coffee, but I love my iced coffee. Iced coffee, for some reason, does not affect my um, body. Yes, ma'am, sweet Kelly, niece Kelly. They are made in Cincinnati, Ohio. And they have been celebrating um, they were celebrating 100 years, maybe more. Oh, my, I can't remember. Grippo Potato Chip Company Incorporated, Cincinnati, Ohio. You can check out their website at www.grippos.com. And no, I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by the Grippos Company. You better put that squirrely uh, peach cobbler recipe in here, sweet girl. Hi, Rosalie. Hey, sweetheart. I'm going to put those chips over there because I'm just going to look at them for a little bit. Uh, because <laughs> um, they are worse than Cheetos. And since I haven't opened them yet, I'm going to crochet a little bit more with my pink furls, my pink odyssey. Yes, I am. Anybody that is coming on, I am doing a double border on my baby afghan. It's pink on one side, gray on the other, the reverse shell stitch. <laughs> All right, Matthew. No beating after eating Cheetos. Hi, my sweet friend Peggy from Barvel. <laughs> I know how to say that. I know how to say that. That's exactly right. Absolutely. How are you? Hey, guys, how many of you are excited about the big deal coming up all of all of us doing our fairy giveaway drawing oh my goodness that is going to be what i got that from granny d sorry granny d i just used your what 
Yes, I did. I did indeed. So I am doing the reverse um, shell stitch for my afghan. I already finished the gray side of the, of the uh, border. And now I am totally psyched that I figured out how I can incorporate the pink border on the other side. I know I played around with it until I got it uh, going in the direction that I wanted it to. And whoa, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I am. Hello, hello, sweet Elizabeth. Welcome from Texas. Yes, I'm really uh, excited you guys are here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peggy. Happy birthday to you. We wish you many more. We wish you, wish you many more, many more birthdays. God bless you. Many more birthdays to you. There we go, guys. There he is. There is your sweet birthday song, Peggy. God bless you. Isn't it fabulous to get yarn for your birthday? Hi, Michael. Michael's Adventures. Guys, I posted my, um, I posted where I went to um, Michael's and had my uh, yarn haul at Michael's the other day. And he said, I don't remember that. <laughs> no, he said, hmm question mark when did that happen <laughs> michael sorry michael wrong michael guys connect with each other if i have some sweet people in here uh that can drop some links of uh, all you sweethearts just don't drop any troll links please uh we want to keep this as as neat as possible and look at my border look at the border happening right here pink kelly crochet me pink check it out i'm finishing up my afghan and it's got a gray reverse shell stitch border and a pink reverse shell stitch border happy birthday mimi Happy birthday, Mimi. Happy birthday, Mimi Cat Do 65. Happy birthday to you. And many more, many more. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Hey, Matthew. Pop out uh, Miss Mimi Cat Do's link so everyone can go over and wish her a happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. We're wishing you one right now. But if you do not have sweet Mimi Cat Do, um, I'm going to put my uh, Matthew Fox to work throwing up Miss Mimi Cat do and Matthew has a wonderful channel guys gals Matthew has the most amazing bracelets anklets for the beach come on now come on now a secluded beach just just with a few people just a thought just a thought. Um, <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love my Mimi Cat Do girlfriend. 
Oh, you're the sweetest thing. Oh, my goodness. Look, Matthew just popped in Mimi's channel. If you do not have Mimi as a wonderful uh, Mimi in your life, you need her. Oh, my goodness. This sweet woman made me some zebra socks for my birthday. I'm almost about to go get them and put them on because I got the air on in here. Woo! And Lucky's over there, all underneath two. No, one big uh, blanket and my sofa afghan. And I'm over here. Yes. Yes, yes, Matthew. Yes, we're not dropping our own link anymore because there's craziness going on with Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. You know what I mean? UT. UT. I love you guys so much. You guys are wonderful. But check out this border that's happening right now. What are you guys working on? What are you working on? Come on. Come on. Matthew, you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much, Mimi. You're the bestest. Big birthday hugs. That's the only kind of hugs I can give are the big ones. I'm a big girl like that. You know it. That's it. Okay, so I am uh, working on this border. And I had to really concoct a plan on the border because you have um, a after you do your afghan you'd go through and you'd crochet uh, single crochet all the way around the corn all the way around the afghan and then you go back in and do your uh, reverse shell stitch into uh, you work it into those single crochets that are visible on this side well I've already used the single crochets on this side and I'm putting the pink one on the other side so what I have been doing and yes I apologize now <gasps> Ice and ember shawl. Oh, is that is that knit or crochet? Thank you, Matthew. Okay, there's my niece Kelly's crochet adventures right there. So right up in here, you see these ugly back sides of the single crochets I don't like those crow's feet that's what I call them L L V's or whatever I don't like them I call them crow's feet and they're all so visible okay well I am using those crow's feet to attach my pink border do you notice now here where the pink border is those crow's feet are almost invisible i am going into the crow's feet and doing a single crochet and it's getting rid of the wrinkles oh let's get rid of the wrinkles look at these crow's feet let's get rid of them while we're at it yeah Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, Matthew, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, I am having, I'm having a very good time with this. Um, I have no idea what, it's 630. It's look, it looks like the sun is going down a little bit, but I'm good with that. I am so excited about getting this border done. I never 
ever, ever have put a border on in this fashion. Well, it's happening right now. And I'm tickled. I just put my hook right into them crow's feet. Remember, I just made that up. This looks like crow's feet to me. It's a letter. It's a V. I just put it in there. And single crochet. Go into the next one. Single crochet. Go into the next one. And it's getting rid of those wrinkles. Those crow's feet. I'm telling you, I love it. I do four. I do four. Get right in there and get that. And one, two, three, four. Four single crochets by picking up those crow's feet. And then you chain three. One, two, three. Take that lovely. Yes, I am telling you. I, I'm just really going to have to do a tutorial on this so you guys can see how amaze bomb it's working up because I just kept thinking I've got to I've got to do two borders on here. I need two borders because of the beautiful pink and gray. I needed to throw a pink border into the mix. Look at it. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Guys, if there is a Wicked Earth is Matthew's page. Elizabeth, I'm going to have to look in my spam. Charlie Berry, <laughs> knocking on your door. <laughs> I'm telling you, Matthew does these awesome premieres. Of his jewelry. OMG. And during the premiere. You can order something. Just by telling him. Hey that's. I want that one. And give him your information. Oh my goodness. He has some awesome stuff. Um, just giving him a shout out right now. What is the hook I'm using Kelly? It is a pink odyssey furl you know it it was a gift it was a gift for my birthday it was an early birthday gift it really was <laughs> it's not in my budget girlfriend it's not in my budget to buy this trick to my do you ever heard that word, trick to madu? There you go, Kelly. It is an eye. Furls, pink odyssey. Well, thank you, Matthew. Say thank you to Richard, please. Thanks, Richard. Uh, Mimi Cat do um, Matthew's channel is um, his link is up and it's called Wicked Earth um, Jewelry. I think it's got a green background or something and. I think it's got a um, green background and the music. Oh, I love the music on his page. Hello, hello, sweet Holy Spirit Firefall. How are you, darling? 
Oh, Crafty Bones. Crafty Bones. Come on in here. Uh, we're just working up a border on this afghan that I have been ecstatic over. Um, I'm finishing it. I'm hoping this border is done today uh, for the new baby that uh, lives next door. Oh, my goodness. She was born on the 15th of June. So I I was so busy on my mission to mask that I didn't finish it. So I'm finishing it now. Thank you, Kelly's Crochet Adventures, darling. Help, help out with that. Help out with that. Yeah, make sure everybody, uh, that make sure you guys link up with each other. Uh, do not put your own link. We will let um, someone else pop it in for you, or you guys can pop it in for each other. Show some, um, show some ringing of doorbells. Um, if you know what I mean, make sure that you are commenting on someone's page, giving them a look-see and uh, comment. Uh, and it goes both ways. Please, if you go over and subscribe to someone, uh, look at their page, play a little bit, comment, let them know if you like their content, um, give them a thank you if they also subscribe to you. And just stay blessed, guys. That's that's how we got to do this. And uh, that's how it works because there's always some kind of uh, way to um, show show some love to the people around you yes we are all crafters in this uh, family we are doing our thing we are a community of crafters whether we crochet bead do the diamond paintings I know a lot of my sweet friends do some awesome diamond paintings and other crafty stuff. So we need to stay connected as a family. And what better way to do that than to uh, show some love to each other. Yes, indeed. Thank you all. I will hold this up and you can see it again here in a second, but I'm going to uh, give you a look-see at this border there's a border on each side. It is the uh, reverse shell stitch border on a corner to corner afghan. So we're just chit chatting and crafting today. This is the other side. I am in love with this border. And mm, I need to do. Absolutely. I need to do a tutorial on how I'm doing this border. So if this interests you, uh, let me know uh, that this is something you would like to learn how to do the reverse shell border. I've done the reverse shell border single by itself, but never... Uh, where it looks like it's on both sides. When you lay the afghan down, you've got one side, lay it the other way. Uh, you've got the pink side. So I'm excited how it's turning out. Gives it a really cool 3D effect. Kelly and Kelly sharing each other's stuff. Yes, I like it. Ah. Sweet, sweet, sweet Kelly's. Mm -mm -mm. 
So how long have you guys been um, crocheting or with Matthew, how long have you been doing, um, uh, how long have you had a beadery, Matthew? How long have you been doing uh, jewelry? And who encouraged you or who, um, if anyone, um, gave you the idea or taught you how? That's a good question. Jennifer, four months, four years for Matthew. Oh, Matthew, you're getting orders worldwide. I love it. Katrina's Crochet World, 29 years. And your mother's friend and your grandmother taught you. Ah. Sweet Charlie Berry, you make jewelry too. Oh, my goodness. What a good connection. Ah, oh, loving it, loving it. Well, my mama, how many of you all call your grandmother's mama? <laughs> my mama taught me how to crochet and knit when I was a little girl. Um, there were six kids in my family. And she would come and stay at uh, our house when I was a kid, when mother was in labor or in the hospital having another baby. So I um, had the opportunity to sit under um, my grandmother, my mama's uh, teaching. She taught me how to crochet and knit. And I'm going to tell you right now, there was no fancy clovers or furls. There were those uh, hard cold metal, literally crochet hooks that were so tiny that we had to use. Um, Hi, Mama. How are you, Mama's Touch? What's cooking? I had never, ever crocheted or knit before. I was like seven and eight, I think. And she had this crochet hook that was so small because she was using twine to do, I remember this like yesterday, I was like, oh goodness, that's some tiny thread. And we um, sat there and she taught me how to make a chain and then how to put a border around a simple washcloth. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. I just learned how to chain a border around a washcloth using um, embroidery thread or twine. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, y'all. So this part of crocheting right now is easy peasy because this is a size four yarn and a size eye hook. Look at that border right there. Matthew, Mama's Touch. Mama is a, she is an awesome cook. Ooh, she can cook it. Mm. Hi, Shonda. How are you, darling? Has anyone seen Shonda? Shonda's birthday was Saturday and I haven't seen her on here in a while. Check it out. This is this is happening, you all. We've got a border on each side, pink and gray. 
I, I am in love with how this is working up. And oh my goodness, it's happening up in here. It is. It's just single crochet, slip stitch, and double crochet. That's all there is to it. Nothing fancy. It's just the way you place your stitches. And I will, I will sit up um, my tutorial and my camera and do, uh, sit up my tutorial station and show you how I did this border. It is, it's turning out really good. I've never done it with the double border before. Yeah, Matthew, come on. What you cooking, Mama? I asked you what was for dinner. I don't even know what's for dinner. I am having, um, when I get my border done, I'm going to celebrate with this. Has anybody ever had those before? I'm asking again. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mama, mama, she can cook. Hi, everyone. I'm missing. What do you mean? Oh, oh, so hi, everyone that you haven't said hi to. Okay. Crochet Nana, exactly. The doilies. I did those too. And I was like, you know, if you can do that, you can do this uh, any day. <laughs> we learned the hard way. I'm telling you. Absolutely. If you can do doilies, come on now. You can do yarn. Oh, I, I'm telling you, mm, absolutely, absolutely. I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with me. Um, what a blessing, what a blessing to sit and chit chat with you all i know it's dinner time at most places um peggy you know they are oh my goodness my daughter who lives in louisiana gets these um anytime that they are in town and they take them home with them or if i am able to um send any of these back with them or if my best friend from uh, who moved to Louisiana comes <laughs> comes in um to Kentucky I send these back with her plus guess what else Peggy what else can you not get other places without paying an arm and a leg L8 L81. The L8 soda. Ah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> they pick up a case of L8 when they come in, and I'm excited. They're coming in. Seriously. This is a this is a residential neighborhood, and people come up and down through here flying in their um vehicles that they are test driving um, from the car lots that are all up and down the big um, bypass up here. They come up and down the street with their uh, hot rod vehicles. I'm like, they're the little kids in this neighborhood. But anyway, if you guys seen any of my stuff, you know, there are people Am I buffering? Am I buffering, sweet girl? Or you? 
Heather. Oh, sweet, sweet Matthew is, um, he is, he is sharing links if you have a page with content so that uh, we can network and, and show love to each other. So if Matthew is asking you about your page content, he is, he is throwing out some links and, uh, we're connecting and I love that. Um, it's, it's not as easy to show and connect as it used to be back in 2019 or before you could just click on someone's, um, name or, uh, channel and it would take you there. But yeah, things have been changing in the Google world. Truth, truth. Hey, the whole world is in a change right now. So it's good to know the creator and to be able to know where your faith is as far as are you safe? Let me tell you about my mama. She is a sight. She used to take and fly to Florida, uh, to Venice Beach, and spend some time with my sister who lives down there. And literally the last, next to last time, yes, the next to last time she flew out of Lexington, um, She was very um, freaked out because the pilot came on, said, okay, guys, we're going to make a quick turnabout. Um, we, of all things, forgot to fuel up. So we're going to turn around and head back to Lexington if you need to inform your people at our next pickup or our next uh, stop, which was Punta Gorda, Florida. If you need to connect with them, when we go in to do our fuel up, when we land, uh, take that opportunity to uh, text your people and let them know we will be just a wee bit late, um, just so they won't be worried about you. And there were people on the plane <laughs> going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to crash. We're going to crash. We're going to we're not going to make it back to Lexington. We're out of fuel. Mother was sitting there for a minute and she realized what he said. <laughs> the, the pilot. And she's like. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to go if we do go down. If we run out of fuel, I know that I know that I'm going to heaven because I am living right. <laughs> oh, look who came to say hello. He was being a, he was being a sleepy boy over there. Yes, Matthew's link was dropped up there earlier by Mimi Cat Do, I think, or someone else. His link is um, Wicked Earth Jewelry. Wicked Earth. Ooh, there, Matthew Fox. He also has the YouTube. Uh, he has Instagram and. You'll see that when you click on his link, you'll see his Instagram and Facebook. But here's Lucky Pants. He is the prisoner of war. He's got his little prison sweater on. <laughs> Let 
Um, if you look at your um, the band that's on your yarn, it should say if it's machine washable. This little gizmo like this, it has directions on it. Machine washable and dryable. It should be in these little. Oh, right in here. My my camera is so not good, but you can see that it shows that you can wash it. And it's dryable. Uh, no ironing. <laughs> they do say no ironing on there. It is washable, machine washable and dryable. I would do it on a low setting. Um, read your um, label, Jennifer, read your label unless you got your yarn and it doesn't have a label on it. But most, most Afghans that you make, unless they are wool, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you should be able to wash it on uh, a gentle cycle. And if you are afraid that you may lose some of your... Um, if you're afraid where you have joined your yarn that it might undo or something because if you switch colors mid um, stream or whatever and I don't know how you did yours sometimes we do a magic knot that keeps it uh, secure but most of the time you would be able to wash it and sometimes I wash it by itself in a very uh, small load in a pillowcase right there you go cold water thank you yarn nut yes that's right <laughs> if you put wool in the dryer it will felt it will felt. It's okay to change your colors. It's not a problem. Uh, do the pillowcase. <laughs> yes, Michael. Make something out of it. I'm going to let Lucky entertain you guys for a minute while I turn on um, overhead light. It's okay. You can sit right there. Sit right there. Oh, it's okay, babe. I'm not leaving. I'm not going away. I'm just coming over here. Turn on the light. Pick up this candy that you probably thought you could have. Getting me a pillow because of my back. Giving me moments. Okay. Scoochy, scoochy. <laughs> He's like, Mama, where's the blanket? Did you not bring the blanket over with you? Not this one. This one's not for you, babe. It's not your color. It does, ma it does match your fairy wings. You guys, it's almost time for the giveaway. I'm so excited about that. Oh. Yes, Matthew has beautiful jewelry. Lucky you cannot have an M&M Reese's. I'm not M&M Reese's Pieces. He is really, um, I'm surprised he didn't find it. I dropped a Reese's Pieces over there on the Chase Lounge and uh, Lucky was like, hmm, what's that? 
You can't have that. You have your own food. Go eat your food, sugar booger. Go eat your food. Can you not go eat your food? I don't have any for you. <laughs> Look at his shirt. I need to crochet him one. It says, Prisoner, Department of Corrections. <laughs> Lucky is a prisoner of love. Oh, yes, he is. He's mama's baby. Ah, oh, yes, he's a sugar booger. Okay, thanks for the love. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, baby. Hoppy, hoppy down. Lay down right there by mama. Lay down. Lay down. There you go, good boy. Isn't he just, isn't he just a rotten scoundrel? Literally, I will say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. He is my spoiled baby. He is mama's spoiled brat. Whew. Matthew, you were right. Oh, my goodness. All, listen, all of the fabulous cooks, to include Joe McLeod uh, and Mama's Touch and all of you other people that cook, you could do the food fair and we could do the other stuff. Right, Mama? Oh, yes, indeed. Lucky honey, I might have to uh, take a little break from my crocheting and work up some gourmet poke salad. Matthew, have you ever had poke salad? You ever heard of poke salad? Just wondering. Yes, Lucky is a rotten scoundrel. All by himself, he is... Totally a rotten, rotten scoundrel. Oh, my goodness gracious. Never had it, Matthew. No, I'm telling you, a lot of people have never had it. <laughs> I told my mother, I said, I've been picking poke and, and cooking it and putting it on my YouTube channel. And she said, Oh, my goodness, honey. I had enough of that growing up. I don't even like it no more. And I said, really? I remember you cooking it for us when I was a kid. She said, yes, but I sure don't like it right now. I'll go out in the field and forage for mustard greens or collard greens or something like that. She goes, but oh, I've had my fill. She sounded like Joe McLeod. I've had my fill of, uh, I'm so sorry, sweet Heather. Joe says I'm full. Joe, my mother said she's full too. She's full of poke salad. And Heather, yes, that snake weed that you said, Snake berries or whatever, that's poke, baby. That is, that's what it is. That's definitely the poke salad. <laughs> yes, mom said she's full of poke salad. She ain't, she's not interested in any. <laughs> I told her about Joe. I said, yeah, that's what my son Joe says. I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> love, love, love. Well, Joe cracked me up when he says he's full. That means he doesn't like what you are cooking. <laughs> Woo. Yes, indeed. I wonder if Joe and them can get these Grippo potato chips. Uh, you need a yarn fairy. Chandra, what's up? 
Chandra, what's up? You need a yarn fairy? You got some yarn barf that needs to be unraveled? <laughs> Heather, when I was a kid, I literally thought, I really thought that our parents or grandparents were just telling us that to keep us from playing in those berries because they were so enticing. I just wanted to get them berries and squish them in my hand and just to get the dye on me. Oh my goodness. It, it was hard to not get caught playing with those berries because you would have a big stain on your clothes, whatever you touched to try to wipe it off of you on would have the stain on it. Joe doesn't like that. Oh, Chandra, you need more yarn sent to you from a yarn fairy. Well, I'm a, I am one of those, and we are getting ready to do the big draw. I talked to my sweet niece, Chica, today. I said, let me tell you, darling, I did not see your name on my, uh, uh, in any of the comments about Lucky in his fairy wings and saying, sorry, Lucky, about your fairy wings. I didn't see your name anywhere on the comments. And your birthday is coming up. Hey, D and crew, how's everyone? Hey, Kim, crochet and knits. Hey, darling, anybody I miss? Hi. <laughs> so I thought, get out of town. Chica. Chica's birthday is July the 25th. That's the day that Dana from Wonderlust Crochet is drawing the big name. Well, yes, it is. I told Chica, wouldn't that be awesome if she was the big winner and she got all those lovely goodies for her birthday? She was like, really? I said, yes. Why haven't you entered yet? Why haven't you entered? I don't even know if the girl has a YouTube name. I don't. You can still have a YouTube name without being a creator. Right, y'all? Yes, I told her, Jennifer, that yours is coming up. Are those chips next to me? Yes, would you like some? Yes, she did. I, well, I saw that, Elizabeth. Dolly Parton and those uh, poke berries, and she lived to tell about it. So uh, the story about them being so poisoned must not be so. But, yes, I heard all my life that those berries were poison and um, toxic for you, could kill you. I mean, you know, the kids are like, oh, my goodness, it's a berry. No, don't eat it. Putting it on your lips to wear it as lipstick to stain your lips. Mm-hmm. That, that's one thing. <laughs> and uh, what else would make good lipstick? Mulberry juice. Ah, oh, I love my mulberries. Love, love mulberries. We had a big mulberry tree when I was a child and mother... Uh, would put this big sheet under the tree and then she would have us children swing on the lowest branches and shake it and those mulberries would just fill up that sheet and 
if any of the kids stepped on a mulberry, <laughs> it would stain that sheet, I'm telling you. So she would say, now, don't get on my sheet with your dirty feet. Get over there and shake them branches. And then she would wrap that sheet up, take it in the house, uh, wash them berries good, uh, bring out another sheet first. We would just switch the sheets out. Get some mulberries off those trees. Oh, no, no, Zach, I'll show you these chips here in a minute. They only are made here in um, my part of the world and Cincinnati. You can't get them like down south where my daughter lives. She comes home to Kentucky and stocks up on them. She is like, oh, my goodness. My favorite chips. They are a little bit on the uh, spicy side, to say the least. But they're not like hot fire and brimstone. Chandra, happy late birthday to you. How was your birthday, beautiful? How was your birthday, Shonda? <laughs> I so happy to see you. Oh, Lucky said, me too, me too. Oh, Lucky wants chips. Lucky would have hemorrhoids uh, if he ate these. Look at him. He's like, Mama, open that bag up. Look. Barbecue potato chips. These are manufactured in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, Lucky's like, open it. <laughs> Sorry, baby. You know you don't like these. You, you smell of it and then you go, whoo, those are hot and spicy. <laughs> he can't have these. These are made in Cincinnati, Ohio, and you barely can get them in other parts of the world. I don't even know if you can get these on Amazon. They're really good sealed. You can't even smell them, but each one has an individual pack, Zach. I know, Kim. He's like, give me some of that. Ooh, Elizabeth. Yummy. Right now is uh, strawberry picking time. Here in Kentucky, they're, they're picking strawberries. You're, you can go to the strawberry patch with a basket and pick your own strawberries. And you got to pay for them all, of course. Yes, Heather, these, I just saw it on the bag. These have MSG. Uh, vegetable oil, high oleic soybean, sunflower, cottonseed, corn oil, and our palm. I don't need any of those. Uh, salt, sugar. Torola, torula yeast, spices, monosodium glutamate. Oh, Lucky is laying on the computer. Lucky, honey. Oh, don't. No, we're not ending the stream. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Lucky doesn't get any of these, and I've got to push this back because he is... He is climbing on that. Um, let's see what else it's got. Monosodium glutamate, corn flour, onion powder, garlic powder, natural hickory smoke flavor, caramel coloring, paprika extract, 
and silicon dioxide, which is what? And then at the bottom in bold highlighted letters, it says these chips are gluten free. Okay, if you want to know more, you can go to www.grippos.com. There you go, Zach. Look them up, baby. You might be able to order them straight from the company. So there's two bags in here, twin size, twin packs, and... Each pack is almost a dollar fifty a pack of these. Each of the twin packs. Sorry. Lucky's really liking that sound. <laughs> Lucky was thinking, oh, she's gonna open them. He's real excited about that not happening, sugar booger. Oh, I'm still buffering. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Elizabeth. Lucky is a hoot. He is a hoot. Matthew, uh, I'm sorry, Zach, if you had to go. Mm. Mm-mm. Kim's crochet, and while he's not afraid of it, he's like, "Woo, open it and give me some. Not happening. Okay, I got distracted a little bit. Right here. Look at these. Be look at this. Look at where I turned the corner, you guys. Look where I turned the corner. So beautiful. I'm working it. I'm working it. I am busy working it lucky is thinking where's the food <laughs> we didn't do it hmm. sorry darling we're not we're not getting into the food right now so sorry so sorry my sugar booger yeah he just snorted lucky will go <laughs> when things are not going his way just like a man. Did I say that? <laughs> Stick with your beads, Matthew. Stick with your beads. I'd say you can have a bracelet or a necklace or an anklet done. And how long does it take you to make one anklet, Matthew? Talk to us about it. Yes, that anti-caking agent. <laughs> it's dirt. And he said it's a mineral. <laughs> That's too funny, Heather. That is so funny. Yes, it is funny. I know, guys. I have just been... I'm like holding off on these chips. I want some so bad, but I'm going to work for it. I'm going to wait until I get this border done before I indulge. I really am. I'm going to have to wait. But while we're waiting, uh, I will sing a little song or two. Let's see what we can sing up in here. <sighs> Yeah, let's do it. Why do I feel discouraged? There you go, Matthew. Why do the shadows go? Why do I feel lonely and long for heaven 
and home when Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. For his eyes the sparrow, and I know that he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I am free, for his eye, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know that he watches me why should I feel discouraged why should the shadows fall why should I Feel lonely and long for heaven and home. For Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. For his eyes the sparrow, and I know that he watches. I know that he watches. Yes, I know. That he watches me. Yes, I know that he watches me. Kim Puckett, my sweet, sweet niece. Look at this. I'm working on it. I am working on it. This is a reverse shell stitch. And I am putting it on both sides. So if you lay the afghan down, you've got a stitch on one side. Got the pink stitch on this side. And the gray stitch on the other. So it's got double border. <laughs> Matthew, you're such a hoot. <laughs> Hey, Kim Puckett is a uh, amazing, she crochets too. Kim, Kim, when are you getting a YouTube channel for all your stuff? And have you been canning already this year, girlfriend? Sweet niece of mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is that corner to corner stitch that I love. 
And the name of this yarn is called Lipstick on My Collar. Wait, Lipstick on Your Collar. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, lipstick is on your collar, buddy. You better explain that. Explain yourself. Matthew, you're so sweet. Oh, not, not selling any CDs right now. <laughs> yes, it's a double border. Look at it. I love how it's turning out. And if you look at it straight on, It's cool. It's in a little bit of a 3D effect. <laughs> yes, that did that to me too, Elizabeth, the first time. Kim, now I've never seen it done that. I have never done it that way. So I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on this crazy stitch because I had to work it and rework it a couple times to get it to do what I wanted. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. I'm in love with it. It's turning out lovely. Hmm. It is turning out lovely. And I, I, like I said, I will, I will uh, set up my tutorial station and do a little um, tutorial on how to do this because right now I am doing it in reverse and you guys can't really see what I'm doing on this side of the border. Oh, that was a funny on this side of the border. It's happening, y'all. Look at that. I'm loving it. It is 3D. It is it is 3D. Yep, yep, yep. Lucky's trying to figure out what I'm cooking for dinner, but he's going to be sadly mistaken. Sweet Kim. Uh, Lucky is, <laughs> he was over here in my lap earlier. He was just like, hmm. This. <laughs> Kim, have you ever had these? <laughs> yeah, Matthew. Oh my gosh. I love these colors and it's called lipstick on your collar. Literally, um, I was working this up and over here in the middle of middle of white collar is a big blob of lipstick. And here, check out that blob of lipstick right there. I didn't like it very much at first. And then I said, well, you know what? It's called lipstick on your collar. So let it be lipstick. There you go. There is our bud. There is my, there is my friend, Matthew. Um, with that way, you guys can see his channel, um, and see what's happening there. That way it's not so hard to find him. Kim, I know you're behind it. You're, uh, you're like me with the camera. I... I'm usually the one doing the pictures. So I had to come out of my comfort zone and get in front of it. 
Look at this. Look at this border, guys. I am ecstatic. Oh, my heavens. And Kim, I get up here in front on the camera sometimes. <laughs> Not always. You see me uh, doing other stuff behind the camera sometimes. So, but I like to get on and chit chat. Yeah, there you go. I like to get on and chit chat with my people. Yeah, I know, girl, you're like way down there on the far corner of Kentucky. These are made in Cincinnati, Ohio. And when my girl flies up or drives up from Louisiana, she is like, she is packing these babies in the suitcase, <laughs> in the car. If they drive up, these are going back. And so are the L8s. They are so good. They have a sweet taste and then the burn. Lucky was begging. Sweet Lucky Pants was begging for me to open them. And I, I refused. I'm not going to open those because he will be. He will be all begging for them, and it ain't going to happen. <laughs> yeah. He did manage to get a couple hot Cheetos a uh, few times. Well, one time, and that was it for him. Somebody left some hot Cheetos out, and he helped himself, and that was the last time he had hot Cheetos. I love the plain Lay's too. I love plain Lay's potato chips um, and the sweet barbecue sometimes, but I really am. I have a bad addiction to these ever since I was a kid. Uh, Kim, what about um, Kim Puckett? What about... Hussman's barbecue potato chips. What do you think of the Hussman's? Have you had those? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Matthew likes the salt and vinegar. Matthew, lucky hates those. Somebody gave him one and he was all like, ooh, yum. That was his. That was his face. <laughs> no, thanks. No. Yeah, he he spit it out. <laughs> he was like, took one lick of it and spit that chip out and tried to cover it up. He was pushing it with his nose like, get this away from me. I don't want this. He is a rotten. He is a rotten one. I'm telling you. <laughs> so how's the garden growing, Kim, in your part of Kentucky? Are you still growing your garden? Hus oh, uh, what is it called? Hussman's, let me type it in. Oh, sorry. Hussman's barbecue potato chips. Um, there is a battle between these two chips, I heard. Um, Hussman's barbecue potato chips. Yeah, Hussman's and Grippo's have a similar flavor. Yeah, have a similar, um, not too similar, but sort of. 
I haven't seen husbands in a while, so I don't know if they got in trouble for trying to copy the Grippos or what. <laughs> you never know. So have you been canning any good pepper jelly, Kim? Oh, the grass. Oh, my word. And mother is out there mowing her grass. Every week, she's like, oh, I got to go mow. The grass is going to get too high. It's supposed to rain again. 82 years old, push mower. <laughs> she does, and she's got that garden, too. She's got her garden going. Absolutely. Never heard of husbands either. <laughs> Heather, they are spicy too. There's some spicy stuff. Mm. I try to avoid as much spicy as possible because my, my gut doesn't uh, tolerate it well. But yeah. That's it. I am um, trying to get this done so I can have some chips, y'all. I'm I'm punishing myself until I get it done. That's going to be my treat to myself when I get this done. I I'm not the only one that does that, right? Set up something you're going to do. <laughs> Oh, girl, I know. I'd say you're going to be oh, canning up some good pepper jelly. Mm. Last year, I had a yellow watermelon that I loved. I saved some seeds, but couldn't. I haven't planted any of that. But I made, um, I canned watermelon rind for the first time ever. And used um, bread and butter pickles to make it. Oh, it's so good. It's the best relish on a hot dog. <sighs> Chili dog. The best. The best relish on a chili dog is the watermelon rind sweet butter bread and butter pickles. <sighs> sweet bread and butter pickles relish is what I, it turned out to be. Watermelon rind. Yes. An abundance of cucumbers last year turned into a lot of bread and butter pickles too. And some salsa, but I keep it on the low down. I don't have a big uh, garden to work. I just use my um, patio, have a little raised bed back there. Mom really puts out a garden, makes me look terrible. Well, you know, Elizabeth with the plain O, Oh, squash relish, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what kind of squash are you using? Just the yellow squash? Mother Bay's makes a... Yeah, my mother, she uh, she makes the best kushal pie. Like a peanut butter pie, but with kushal. And people are ordering her, ordering them from her because 
they are so good. And when they see she's making it out of this big <laughs> garden plant, they're like, that's what that is? Oh my goodness, yes. She makes it. It is called Kushal Pie. And boy, oh boy, does it ever get rave reviews. Rave reviews. Absolutely. Thank you all for sitting around with me in my living room today. Mm. Ooh, I love zucchini too. Absolutely. I love zucchini and um, the newest thing I tried this year was candy onions. The sweetest, oh my goodness, candy onions ever. Um, absolutely delicious, grilled up with um, uh, zucchini and yellow squash. <sighs> yes. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. Cantaloupe. Yum. Oh, my goodness. My mother, uh, we called that mushmelon, mushmelon when I was growing up. And I still haven't figured out if there's a difference between mushmelon um, mushmelon and uh, cantaloupe. You never know. <laughs> you never know if there's an actual difference, but have you ever heard it called mushmelon? M U S H. Lucky's just napping over there, all snuggled up. Mm. Yes, indeed. It's it's just cantaloupe. <laughs> it's the same thing, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> Sometimes people um, use home language of what they called it in their little neck of the woods, so to speak. So that's how it works. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm going to do another song before I uh, get off of here. And, of course, I'm going to still be working because I can't have muskmelon, M-U-S-K, muskmelons. Okay, I guess because of how strong they smell. Alton Brown, ha! Huh. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a good channel. I watched. Tomato gravy. Have you ever had tomato gravy, y'all? I'm telling you, I watched Paula Dean make tomato gravy the other day and I was like get out of here I would like some tomato gravy right now to pour over my 
white lily biscuits that I made yesterday morning. I don't know how to cook just for myself when I do that. I make too many and I had a lot of homemade delicious biscuits left over. And I really need to do something with them. I don't like to freeze them. They don't always taste as good reheating them. But I, I think I'm going to go in there and make me some tomato gravy. Sorry, Grippos. You're just going to have to be a late night snack. <gasps> Jennifer, you make tomato gravy? Oh, my goodness. Hi there, sweet natural way of coating girlfriend. Uh, so glad you're here. Um, Wicked Earth Charm and Necklace Company is my friend Matthew Fox. He has some awesome jewelry over there. If you go check him out. Oh, my goodness. He has some very beautiful uh, jewelry. I saw Matthew it said it takes about an hour to make something earlier. I was in the middle of a song. I'm sorry, Matthew. Oh my goodness. Tomato gravy. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Jennifer, we need that recipe. Oh, put your recipe in there. Sugar, booger. We need your recipe for tomato gravy because I want to make some when I get when I get off of here. And then I'll save my chips for later. Oh, my goodness. Yes, the chips will be a snack sometime later <laughs> oh my gosh how was your baby girl's birthday um nwa sister sharita how was that baby girl's birthday how did it turn out i i'm sure it was fabulous Hi, Miss Southern Belle. How are you, sugar? We are just talking about Southern cooking. I'm not, and we're not even talking about poke salad today. Wait, wait, maybe we are. Okay, my Kim, have you ever had poke salad? Girlfriend, it grows in your backyard, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, I do. I do know how to make flour gravy from scratch. I had that yesterday morning with my homemade biscuits. Yes, I did. Oh, I, I was foundered. Mm, how old are those kitties right now? Oh, my goodness. How big are they? I forgot when they were born. Oh, my goodness. Kitty meows. I'll have to go. I'll have to go check it out. Oh. Now, is it true that the yellow tomatoes have less acid? Somebody tell me. Do the yellow tomatoes have less acid in them? It's a good question. I've been told they have less. So I don't know for sure, sure, but I'm, I would like to be able to say, hmm, they should probably taste pretty good. Sister Sharita, I'm doing a 3D border on my afghan. Check it out. 
Okay, Lucky said I am checking it out. We all know that this is going to be uh, good and washed before it's turned into the, oh, Lord. <laughs> Kim, darling, <laughs> you ate the berries once. Apparently, they're not as poisonous as we were told growing up. Oh, Lucky, honey, honey. Lucky, are you helping? Lucky's helping. <laughs> ah, Lucky. <laughs> Can I have the yarn, sugar booger? Whew. Oh, it's turning out really well. I love, I love the double border happening here. A pink border on this side when you lay it down. The gray border on the other side. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I need to do a tutorial on this because I just, like, made up the how to make it work on both sides. Yeah. I just said, okay, I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> oh, sweet Southern Belle. He is, like, so, he is so begging for my chips. Look, Miss Southern Belle does a lot of food. Oh, Shonda, 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 you need to come over for a tutorial. Yes, you do. But Miss Southern Belle, uh, this is your challenge. Miss Southern Belle, you need to get you some of these. I don't know if you can order them off of Amazon or not, but here we go. Check it out, y'all. Let's see if Miss Southern Belle wants to take up this challenge and eat some Grippos. Not with chocolate. Just plain, just the way they are. <laughs> I know you haven't had those. You need to order you some. Go to grippos.com. G-R-I-P-P-O-S.com. They're made in Cincinnati, Ohio. And they're very hard to find. Hey, painting houses. Are you taking a paint break? Shonda, we need to get together. You just live. Oh, by the way, my sweet friend, Shonda, you need to email. You need to message me your address because I had your present for your birthday already to send and thought I had misplaced your address. The envelope that my present was in for my birthday and there was no return address. So I was searching high and low to find that envelope. No address on it. Cold and raining there. No painting today. So Shonda, I, I can't send you your stuff. I guess you're just going to have to come get it. And we can have a sit down one-on-one -on -one tutorial on how to crochet. Absolutely. We'll do it up in the yarnery and do a live and a howdy do and a meet and greet. Wouldn't that be so fun? <laughs> yes, yes. Let's get it done. <laughs> Woo. Yes, you got to paint on the inside. What time is it there in New Zealand, did you say New Zealand? What time is it there, painting houses? Well, Kim, I've been I've been foraging and eating poke salad for all summer. I love it. It's one of my favorites and I just 
can't get enough of poke salad with a big country egg right down in the middle of it. Yes, I have. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Making me some poke salad, and I love it. Not sure a whole lot of people. Uh, 11.55 in the afternoon. Oh, so it's almost 12. It's almost... Wait, it's 11.55 in the afternoon or evening? 11.55, 11.55 time here in across the pond would be um, almost morning, as in 12 midnight. <laughs> so... It's nearly 8 p.m. here, and I said I was going to end with a song, so I better get on there and do that um, because I like to keep my promises. Oh, okay. It's nearly lunchtime in New Zealand right now. Okay. Cool beans. Is that what we're having for lunch? Cool beans. Just wondering. I am. Um, I'm waiting for Jennifer to send me her recipe for. Uh, tomato gravy. <laughs> I still am. Well, a lot of us on here, instead of being painters we are crocheters or bead makers or photographers or other. That's what's going on around here. Lucky is like mom, seriously. Okay. It's almost eight o'clock. So let's end this with a beautiful song. Tomato gravy. Yes, Kelly. Have you ever had it? Mm, mm, mm. Good stuff. Thank you, Shonda. Thank you, darling. Okay, Jennifer, thank you, sugar. Yes, I'll take it. Send me that recipe. Mm. Homemade vegetable soup and toast. That sounds good. That's perfect for a rainy day. Absolutely. Okay, let me do this. I come to the garden alone while the dew still on the roses and the voice I hear. Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever no He speaks and the sound of His voice is so sweet 
that the birds hush the singing and the melody that he brings to me within my heart is Stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling, but he bids me go through a void. Of woe, his voice to me is calling, and he walks with me and he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none of them has ever no, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none of them has ever Wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever, I pray. In fathomless billows of love, in fathomless billows of Hey guys, what a peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. Woo, it's all peaceful and good up in here. Mm, mm, mm. I love you guys. I'm catching, uh, I'm going to catch a break here. And I am talking myself. Thank you, darling, for that dress. <laughs> I'm talking myself into a tomato gravy recipe 
I am just ready to make that good stuff. Ooh, yes, I am. I've got some homemade biscuits already made from yesterday's good breakfast. And um, they are just waiting for some tomato gravy to pour on top of them. God bless you all real big. I love you. Jesus loves you. And we are his favorite. We got some birthday people that are being very blessed today. If you don't know Mimi Cat Do, go over to Mimi Cat Do. Do. She just turned 65. Today is her big day. Wish her a happy, happy birthday. Blessings. And yeah, I don't even know where my lucky pants is. He could get up here and say goodbye. But hi, sugar. Come say goodbye. Jump, 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 jump. Ah. <laughs> Tell everybody goodbye. Say we love you. Oh, he's about to turn us off without the goodbyes. Oh, oh, lucky. <laughs> Mama Sugar Booger. This my baby boy. Kisses. <laughs> lucky is saying goodbye, everyone. Kisses for Mama. Kisses for everybody. Yeah. Poison dog lips right there. Love you. Love you all. So bless you all. Thanks for everyone that hopped in. And Lucky Pants just kissed me right in the mouth. I need to go brush my teeth now. <laughs> oh, he's like, Mama, no. You know you love me. We just love him. Love you all real big. And he's trying to talk me into giving him some chips. I know what's on his mind. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> he's pushing the button. Lucky's pushing the button. Lucky. Okay, bye, guys. Lucky's trying to push the button. Bye, guys. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Look for the tutorial on the double <laughs> reverse <laughs> shell stitch border. <laughs>